Dude, have you seen the picture of you looking at me, dude? They already, <laughs> they already think we, they, they already think we're fucking doing some weird shit together. Yo, do, do I get your bed again, dude? No, you don't. Fuck no. Yo, Fitz, for, uh, if you didn't know, I invited. Oh no, please. No, I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> Here comes. I invited, I, I invited Lakari over, uh, you know, to hang no, out. Wait, He's, I don't think someone knows. The, oh my god. No, oh, Summit, perfect, dude. No. <laughs> so I invited Lakari over to uh, hang out, do some streaming. You know, just hang uh -huh. out with the boys. And I'm Persian. I don't know if you guys know, you know, Iranian. No idea. And basically, I'm, I'm, I'm raised to, you know, give my best to my guests, right? Which is the opposite of most American culture. It's make your guests sleep on the floor. Um, I'm raised oh, to, you know. Shit, I got Smokey on the fucking, I got him on a blow up mattress out there. <laughs> exactly, shit. right? Exactly. So, like, I'm, I'm raised to give them my best, which means I sleep <laughs> on the floor. I give my guests the bed, right? Or, like, if I have the last, like, candy, I give my guests the candy and I eat nothing, right? Like, that's kind of how I was raised. So Lakari mm -hmm. comes over, you know, I say, fuck it up. I'm going to sleep in this, uh, this, this, this walk-in room. There's no door. You know, it's this small creaky bed. I'm like, fuck it. I'll take this thing. I give Lakari my master bathroom, master shower, walk-in closet, master bed. This bed's fucking to die for. Like it's the comf most comfortable thing you'll ever sleep in. And you know, if, you know, a few days pass by, I, I walk into his room, you know, in the mornings and I start noticing my towels in the master bedroom are slowly diminishing and it's not that they're going into the dryer or washer they're just not there and i have probably some nice towels in there some of my childhood towels i brought from home to remember home <laughs> childhood towels oh no yeah yeah like <laughs> towels that like I, I remember like having like you know just like towels i remember like you know i brush my teeth late at night it was, you know just like experiences i had that like these are my <laughs> child towels right what did he do to your towels train just wait listen here dude so this dude, absolutely. I'm listen. He's he's at the crib. I'm. Th this guy's getting a better treatment than, than the Four Seasons fucking presidential suite, dude. That shit's like ten thousand dollars a night. Better than that, okay? I'm 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 buying this guy fucking filet mignons, fucking uh uh wagyu beef, fucking. We're talking like three hundred dollar steak, like breakfast sandwiches for eighty bucks. Like we're talking like top of the line. This dude's getting a treatment, dude. I might as well suck his dick too. I walk in my room in the morning. Oh shit! You did. Listen, I, I walked in the room in the morning. Listen. The oh, I thought dude, he sucked his dick. No, no, no. <laughs> I walk into the room in the morning, dude. This dude is sprawled out on my bed, butt naked. No, okay? Man. He's sleeping on my bed, ass naked, and that's not it. Next to him, right to his right. He didn't have the fucking shame to clean it up. To his right, one of my childhood towels. Listen, everyone here knows what it looks like when cum dries. That little crinkle it gets into the fucking towel, no the crustiness. No way. My towel jizzed on, sitting next to him in my bed while he's butt naked, with fucking tissues and towels all around. Towels in the fucking shower, thrown on the ground. Oh, probably man. at least 10 plus, maybe, Shameless. I want to say 20 to exaggerate, maybe. Jizz towels, dude. Everything is just wet. Like... This dude went in there, he fucking, like, if you've seen that clip from uh, Meet the Fuckers or whatever a clip that was when he shits all over the, uh, uh, when he diarrhea's all over the bathroom, this guy jizzed everywhere, dude. We're talking all my towels jizzed on. But that would take time. Yeah, dude. Yeah? I was That's wondering. That's like a process. Yeah, dude. I would sleep. Like, like he's the friend that uh, you want to go to bed and he just won't sleep yet, but you, you don't want to sleep till he sleeps, but he just won't sleep. So you end up passing out and you wake up. Dude, I woke up to this dude at 5 a.m. I heard vacuuming noises in my room. I'm like, I don't even have a vacuum. How the fuck's this dude vacuuming in my room? Like, he's vacuuming. Were you guys like, so wait, like were you guys sleeping? Life. You guys are sleeping in the same room. No, no, no. I'm sleeping back here, straight behind. He's sleeping right here. So right here, he's sleeping. I'm sleeping straight yeah, back mean, in the darkness. But like, but like same room-ish. Ish. No, no, no. Across so the same house. Or is that, or you go through a door. Okay, gotcha. Okay. Yeah, okay. so you go through a door to get to my room, and then my room's straight back there to the left. Then why can't you go to sleep until he gets to sleep? When the, how the fuck do you even know when he's sleeping? No, no, no. I, I can go to sleep without, without him sleeping, but I have this thing where when I have a guest in my house, I want to uh -huh. be the last one to sleep. You know, in case something happens or comes up or like I hear him going through the fridge and he's hungry, but he doesn't know where to look, but he doesn't want to wake me. <laughs> yeah, I want to wake up yeah. and be there for him. So he's like, yo, train, where's your Mac and cheese, right? I'm like, all right, here it is, right? Uh -huh. Otherwise, the dude's going to end up going through all my pantry shit and knocking everything over and, you know, uh, displacing all my things that I've placed organized, right? So I wait till the person sleeps and then I sleep, right? That's how I'm in the mornings. I try to wake up first. But anyways, so th this is what happens. So now there's a bunch of shipping memes, I guess, between me and Lakari from him sleeping butt naked in my fucking bed. We're talking dick touching my fucking comforter. Oh. 
everything, dude. Insane, dude. Shameless, dude. Honestly, when you the were child telling that story, towels, bro, I far. completely forgot that it took place in your house. And yep. I was like thinking at a hotel. And I was yep. like, man, that sucks. But that really sucks now, like a lot more. Yeah, but eventually I eventually Dude, I forgave I him. Love, and... I love you saying childhood towels. Like, yeah. awesome. <laughs> These are my towels that are most like yeah. sentimental to me, and he just jizzed on them. <laughs> Dude, they're sentimental, dude. Because like when when you move out for the first time, like this is pretty much my first time moving out, living alone. I want to take a piece of my like home, the homey vibe yeah. from my room to my new place. So when I'm brushing my teeth, wiping my face, it's like okay, I'm at home, you know. And this dude jizzes in it, so... so you know, Trump jizzed on those towels too, bro. Who has oh, the balls to be butt naked in someone else's room? I know! Okay with jerking off with not, like, exposing know. things. You know what I'm the saying? audacity. That's crazy. That's like, I, I don't know. like pooping in other people's houses. You know what I'm saying? I know. Trust I can, me, I'm dude. barely comfortable walking fully naked in my dude, own bedroom. This is a, dude, this <laughs> isn't even it, dude. And listen, dude, just to be clear, I didn't bring this up first. He brought it up on my stream, so that's how it hit public. Um, but, dude, not to mention, the dude knows I hate feet, dude. He knows I hate feet, okay? I have this issue with feet, right? Like, okay. I'm just going to tell him everything. Listen, dude, you dude this happened on stream, Lakari. This happened on stream when we're playing TFT together. <laughs> This dude's walking around with his fucking goddamn fucking unclipped fucking talons, dude. And I'm sitting here playing my fucking game, and he's sitting in this chair. He's scratching my ankle with his fucking big toe talon. I am just, at this point, dude, I'm done. I'm fucking done, dude. I'm about to call the hazmat team over, get a full fucking clear, dude. It was just an experience, dude. And guess what? I got over it. I forgave him. He's coming back over in like two weeks. Just walk around with your He is coming back over, isn't he? Just have yep. He's coming back over, so we'll see dude, if he's changed. I, I promise I'm reformed. I promise <laughs> you are going to see a new me, dude. Like, I promise it, I, I will be the hospitality. I will come in and I'll bring you mountains of towels, okay? Mountains of towels for you, dude. Oh, All right? I'll who's make coming you on a towel? I'll, who's <laughs> coming on towels? I agree. I who the fuck's coming on towels? Why I don't are you coming in towels? I don't get yeah, that. That's my question is why do you come in towels in the first place? Like, why not just use like a Kleenex and then flush it? And, like, Dude, listen. Yeah. Like, let me show you. Let me show you. Listen. Please not... don't. No, 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 no. Not the towel. Not the towel. Listen. So I'm someone that I believe in the best, the best and most soft and thick toilet paper. So it's not like he's coming here with that trash hotel toilet paper where it's literally oh, fucking as thin as a piece of good. plastic. It's like, it's like listen, I'm going to show you what I have. And I have, listen, I have like fucking 400 rolls that were stacked up in his fucking thing under the sink. Yeah. Okay. And he says to use towels. Let me, let me show you these things. Your towels are probably way rougher than the fucking yeah. than the toilet paper. <laughs> I, can't, I can't I can't say anything. This uh, motherfucker probably got rug burn, probably jizzing in all those towels. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know what to say. This it's point. like it's like one thing if he caught you and you were like the shadow jacker and like you were trying like be really like <laughs> you're trying to be like jacker. really subtle and subtle about it or whatever. But like it just feels like you just went. Listen, damn, dude. Charmin <laughs> Ultra Soft. Jacker. Okay, like, I'm just, it's like you that, wanted man. to be caught. Charmin if Ultra Soft. Enough, if he, the if shadow he jackers are the super villain. <laughs> his own towels. Would that still be okay? Like, don't worry, dog. I'd roll these up perfect. <laughs> After and I bring him home and I get these things close. You know, you won't even have to Dude, worry about it. Dude, the worst part is, imagine if I didn't catch him. Would he have just said, "Oh, the, I, I showered with these and I walk and I just like, you know what I mean, like, like." Dude, imagine I didn't catch any of this. I would have went into my bed. I just I... don't understand how you can jack off in someone else's house into their towels in this in my bed. And it would does it okay? I have a question. I have a question. Was it clear that he was just leaving them lazy, or was he actually trying to make it look like he cleaned that shit, and uh, you were just not having it? You can see it. Here's here's what I think. Okay, here's what I think. Okay, and I'm speaking from uh, experience because when I was like 16, I have jerked off in my bed when I was 16, right? And I felt it. After you beat off, you just want to pass out. Here's what I think happened. I think he got into bed. He was butt naked, right? And listen, here was his logic. Okay, and here's the, what made it shameless. He was sleeping in his uh, shorts. And he goes, train, your bed is just so comfortable. I had to feel it and I had to sleep naked, dude. It was that comfortable. I'm like, dude, like that is shameless. I mean, if anything, you say, you know what? You gave me the bed. It's that comfortable. Let me at least leave my fucking shorts on out of a little bit of decency. No, he said it was so comfortable. He had to try it naked. So here's what I think happened. I think he got into bed, butt naked. He wanted to jerk off, right? Because he has this weird thing where he goes, on, he goes on his phone and does some weird shit with some people on Discord. Whatever the fuck, right? So he's sitting there. I think it's a little horny. I think he jerks off. And he's too lazy to get up to go to the bathroom to clean up and to come back into bed. I think he just put the towel to the right side. He'll wake up and do it later. I think he put it there and passed out on the spot. I ended up waking up first 
and I think he had no time to clean it up real quick. That's what I think happened exactly. That's my opinion based on anecdotal evidence and speculation. <laughs> You've thought this through. This is like some fucking Sherlock Holmes Detective. shit, dude. <laughs> yep. What if you what if you never caught him and you go to wash your face with that childhood towel? Only to find an unpleasant surprise. Yeah, see, for you, uh, so so here's the, the thing. About in, this. in that situation, exactly fits. In that situation, ignorance is bliss. If I didn't know, I'd be fine. But the problem with Lakari is, I know he'd. I know during our shit talk, he'd bring it up and say, "Hey, by the way, <laughs> just in your towels." And when I find out three <laughs> weeks later he did, and I use that thing in my mouth, that's when what friendships break up. Well, you like put the towel in your face, like, yeah. "Oh, it's got some moisturizer on there already. It's fantastic." You know? <laughs> yep, How are you exactly, not gonna know yeah. by the time you wash your face? <laughs> the water activated moisturizer. That's right. As so, soon as, so as soon as, as soon as, with the towels. The, the line isn't that he. So he's coming back in two weeks. The line isn't that he actually did all that stuff. It's if he didn't tell you, and then you just, and then you did some. Then you actually used one of the towels, and you were like, "No, you found out. I was just that, answering to Fitz. I hope he would tell me. I don't think he'd do that anymore. <laughs> he's he's getting the guest room this time though. And the, I think he's, uh, yeah, I yeah. think he's reformed, dude. Change I, I love looking at his. I'm looking at his face, and this is, <laughs> this is the a man that's reformed. Man. Yeah, no, yeah, he, he's good. He's good. <laughs> it won't happen again, I promise you. Uh, I will make sure that I am taken care of before I, I enter your house, Trent. No, you're completely good, dude. Listen, if, if you want to jerk off, I have no problem with it. Go in the bathroom, jerk off like a human being, and you use the fucking tri and, and use the quadruple ply toilet paper that I purchased and I paid $10 extra for. Like, use that shit, you're good to go. Okay, I have no problem with you jerking off in there. I, I'm super easy going. As far as the bed goes, in that bed, you can sleep naked, fuck a, poke a hole in the mattress, and fuck the mattress for all I give a shit, okay? Like, take that bed, you're good to go, okay? But hey, this time I'm sleeping in here. Oh boy, Word. that is unfucking real. I can't even see that. This concludes the Lakari. I thought I felt bad that I went to my. It was a Counter Strike time. I was probably like 15 yeah. years old.